These are difficult financial times, and reducing store shrink to recover lost profits has never been more important. In fact, proactively reducing store shrink is likely to be your most direct route to real profit improvement, competitive advantage, and survival. This information-packed video series by Larry Miller is entitled The Total Store Manager. Larry is the recognized loss prevention authority, and in this series, he will reveal to you a wealth of valuable tips and techniques that you can start using now to reduce and even eliminate the shrink losses that are robbing your bottom line. Don't miss any of the 14 segments that will be presented right here. Then plan to bring Larry in for a live, upbeat, and highly productive store manager training workshop at your company. In this brief video, Larry will reveal to you the five rules of engagement that will bring managers, department heads, and supervisors together as a cohesive unit to battle the causes of shrink together in a far more effective manner than ever before. The rules of engagement I like to talk about for a couple of minutes under for merchandisers and executives. Um, again, those, those conditions where people have been accused of blow in, blow up, and blow out, right? The objective here is to teach. Merchandisers should walk the stores with the manager and the department head. Merchandisers, you'll just take your store managers and your relationship with store managers light years if you engage them on every visit or every other visit to really walk them into your department and let them see through your eyes. You're not chastising them. You're collaborating, you're partnering, you're being a support system with them. You walk back in your meat department, for instance, and you see a problem that you discuss with a meat manager, and you don't acquaint the store manager with that problem, you haven't helped anybody. Well, the meat manager created it, right? I mean, without picking on anybody, the meat manager created it, caused it, is dealing with it. If his store manager doesn't know he's dealing with it, or she is dealing with it, right? then the store manager can't be a good partner. So merchandisers should walk the store with the department manager and the, meat man and the store manager when they can. Not every visit. right? Store manager can't do that every visit. Store managers, how many of you would just love it if your head merchandisers from the departments would grab you and take you through their departments with, you, with them? Don't raise your hand if you don't want them to because they're going to see you. But if you really would like it, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, half the room would really like it. Not every time, right? Did you have something? You were just right. Yeah, not every time. Yeah, not every time at all. It's merchandisers, you don't have time. Store managers, you don't have time, right? But every other, every third, when there is something that the store manager should be aware of and you have a training opportunity in front of you, you betcha. That's a great time to do it. So merchandisers, rule of engagement one. Then number two, always discuss, teach, and think prevention, shrink prevention. Number three, store managers and department managers are teammates, not auditors of each other. You're not trying to catch each other. You're not trying to write each other up. That is not what it's about. You're partners in profit. Number four, hold managers and department managers mutually accountable. If a meat gross doesn't come in, or a produce or deli or bakery gross doesn't come in, most often it's the department manager who is held directly accountable. Is that the case here? Okay. I think they should be mutually accountable. It's my only comment. I think that if, if we're all working together, and I asked four store managers yesterday, you know, what's your job? I run the store. Okay, well, if they run the store, right? then a bad meat gross comes in, he ought to be sitting there next to the meat manager, right? And they ought to be talking about it, right? But you won't have a bad meat gross if you implement these on a regular, consistent basis. For information about customized seminars for your store managers or for specific solutions to your loss prevention problems, contact Larry Miller personally at 602-448-8500 or visit retailcontrol.com for free tips, techniques, and lots more.